What's up, DTMB? Squid here doing a uh, doing a video for Uncharted. Uh, I'm just kind of been bouncing around lately, doing different stuff. Uh, I got my code for Counter Strike Go the other day, so I've been playing that quite a bit. But uh, I s a lot of people have been asking about this. They've actually been asking about it for quite a while. Uh, the coaching series, coach them up. Uh, just to preface what I used to do, or I've done a couple times. I did my some of my videos and some of my other people's videos. I would just kind of break them down and kind of analyze them. You know, I, I come from a you know a coaching background. A lot of family members coach, um, and I used to do it a lot for competitive gaming. Uh, I would say over the past six years, I really got into it. I haven't done it a whole lot lately, obviously, because I haven't been playing on a competitive level as much. Uh, just doing a bunch of other things, so that kind of gets in the way. But um, I'm an analytical player. I like to break down that information. So I'm going to take one of my gameplays here break it down for y'all and uh, see how you guys think it fits into your gameplay. So when this starts up here in just a second, uh, this is going to be an FN match. Uh, I'm on Team Art and uh, we'll be playing um, here on Facility. Uh, it's myself, Barry, and um, Adnan, Aiden, however you want to call him. I just, I just make up names as I go. Starting off with a Gmail here, just kind of jumping across, Barry picking up that... Um, the hammer there, getting that quick hammer kill, taking him down. Unfortunately, I don't know how that guy shot me when he was dead. But it is what it is. Just kind of keep going. Uh, the thing is, I want to be playing OBJ a lot in this match. Uh, that's kind of my job, my role. I started off pretty bad. I didn't do very well at the beginning. I, I'm a Sometimes I'm a slow starter, just how it goes. But uh, if you're that kind of person, you just can't let that stuff get to you. you know, sometimes it does, sometimes you know, there's nothing you can do, and it just, it's frustrating. But uh, I try and plunder to not be focused on a kill. If I can't get the kill, if I don't have the shot, I'm not going to keep wasting my time with it. But it's about scoring that package as fast as possible. Uh, that's just the kind of player I am. I've always been that way. I'm not going to ever be number one in the world. You know, that's just not my job. I'm not my focus. So I'm just going to get the kills where I can, help my teammates out. But that's the big focus here is, you know, taking care of business and making sure that the, the area is clear. At the beginning of this match, you'll notice that we're struggling a little bit trying to get that pa the, the 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 idol into the tr uh, treasure chest. Uh, this the pack. I'm just gonna call it the package. This is a lot easier. Years of experience of saying that, but uh, we're having some trouble doing it because the communication is kind of bad. I'm running as hard as I can just to do OBJ. And now an OBJ player is not what you think it is. An OBJ player is solely focused on making sure that they pick up that treasure, they pick up whatever they got to get done. They are in the face all the time. You can't worry about your KDR. You can't worry about what your teammates say. A lot of the times, you're not going to have the highest kill-death ratio. But the fact of the matter is, is, you have to be able to stay calm in a lot of bad situations where it's possible that you will, you will or can get shot down pretty often. Um, you'll see when we get in their base, there's a lot of times I just run after the treasure, try to stunt. When I say stunt, stunning is... Um, kind of slowing somebody down, taking them out, keeping them from getting their jobs done. That's pretty much when it comes down from stunting. Uh, so I stun them a lot. I come in there, I, I jump in, I get that package, and I'll toss it and I'll die. But it's not that big of a deal because at the end of the day, you know, I'm getting the job done. Like in these situations right here, obviously I die. Bad throw. I couldn't get it to Barry far enough so he could start relaying across. But, uh, you know, the thing is sometimes it happens. This game is wonky. The aim system is kind of off sometimes. So you're not always going to be perfect. So don't blame yourself for it. It just happens. You're not always going to be spot on. This guy is spawning in here. Kind of a weird spawn. Getting a couple shots. When I look up, I do a zigzag motion when I aim. I don't round the controller as much as I used to. Especially with the M9. I zigzag back and forth as much as possible. Now, right there in that situation, I tried to stay as level as possible. Because it was a longer range. So I'm just going to have to get lucky with those headshots. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I try to stay with that zigzag because it's easier and you can, you can make your, your, your groups tighter. A lot of people just wail on the trigger at the same time, too. Uh, try not to do that. Uh, something you want to focus on is cutting controlled shots. You can't really control the rate of fire. Not When I say rate of fire, I mean like the individual rate of fire of the gun because these aren't accurate representations of the, of the rifles. They're just kind of like a, you know, a steady run-of-the-mill, hey, this is what we got. Um, not a whole lot different from here. This this is the part I was talking about. We were just having a lot of trouble, you know, getting some of those caps. You know, I'm trying my hardest uh, to run the cap. I mean, I don't like to use beast mode as much because I want to be comparable, or comparable in a firefight. 
Uh, Beast mode sometimes doesn't always allow you to do that. I want to have the opportunity to, uh, you know, definitely get some shots down and wiggle around if need be. So, and the plus, facility is a smaller map in terms of throwing lanes. You don't have to use beast mode on this. Now, if you're doing it on certain maps like, like Airstrip, or you're running like London Streets, or, I don't know, uh, even City of Brass. I mean, those are levels that you're definitely going to need. But City of Brass, you can overthrow and miss, and it's going to respawn anyways. You want to have, um, you know, beast mode for those situations. That's just going to be, you know, more beneficial for you. Uh, if you play like I do, if you're not the best player in your team, it's not a bad thing. It's not a derogatory thing. It just means you got to find your role. You know, obviously this guy's coming across here. I'm going to get as much shots as possible. It's a bad habit of mine. Two bad habits I have from playing other games. Rolling from gears and reloading for Rainbow Six. Because I constantly do that. It's just like a subconscious thing that's ingrained into my memory that I can't change. Uh, but for the most part... Um, you gotta understand your role. You gotta understand what's going on here because Barry and I, Barry's gonna be our Slayer. He's he's playing the Slayer perfectly right now, but uh, Adnan and I are having a little bit of trouble with communication. You know, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to stay in the middle of the map as much as possible to kind of stunt their other OBJ player. I don't really think that that guy that just killed me. I don't really know if he understood the process of OBJ. Uh, sometimes, too many times in this community, people are so concentrated on kills. This kill feed is what makes you look like a good player. But it's not so much in that situation. Barry's going to toss this uh, to me, and it's going to work out in our favor in the end because I'm going to be able to get that score. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is, and you got to take care of business and do what you can uh, to accomplish whatever you're doing. But, you know, it's pretty straightforward in a lot of ways. you just you got to clear your mind. you got to focus. I'm definitely a yeller when I play. You know, I, I'm, I'm into it. I am intense, especially when I'm playing competitively. I'm just like, look, do this, do that. Okay, good. I, you know, I'm just like, it's like a, it's a natural habit uh, to kind of bark out orders. Because I've been there, done that, you know. I'm not the best player, but I'm the one that has the most focus when it comes to doing this. Because I've been doing it for such a long time. Um, it doesn't matter the game. And if you're that kind of player, definitely take control of your team in those situations. Don't be afraid to speak up. Speak up for your team. Let them know what's going on. If you see something, be observant. So I'm going to tell you straightforward, a lot of players in Uncharted are not observant players. They do not check their surroundings. They don't pay attention to what's going on. They have no situational awareness. I'm not talking about the, speci uh, the specificity within the game. I'm talking about in general. Your, 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 you know, your side vision, your ability to understand your head on a swivel is not on a swivel. Everybody's got horse blinders on and focused on one thing, and that's usually kills. And if they see the OBJ, they see the package, then they'll go for it. But that's the problem. You gotta be, you gotta be a hundred percent, 360 degrees all the time. Because if you're not, it's you're gonna not gonna be benefiting your team. And I see so many people do that, whether it's in pubs, scrims, or FN matches. They're just so focused on one thing. Now, being an OBJ player, yes, your focus is to make sure you get the package and you score. But you have to support your team at the same time. Kills are very important. A team that outslays the other team is usually gonna win. That's just how it happens. That's how it just comes across. Sorry for that little pause there. I had to check my phone real fast. But uh, the big thing is you just got to understand that. You got to know your role right off the bat. It, it goes in the same manner for, you know, for pubs. You can't just assume that, you know... Now, if you're playing against a bunch of randoms and you're playing with a bunch of randoms, then do whatever you need to do. Just focus on yourself. Don't worry about other things. Team play is not team play if you don't know the other team. Yeah, that's, you know, it's, it's more of just like a free-for-all in a sense. It's like random people just playing, doing what they can to, you know, to win a game. Whatever it may be. But, uh, you know, definitely focus on specific aspects. Um, if there's something that you guys want to see in the future, let me know. Like, there's a, there's a topic that you want me to cover. Because I can cover every single one of them. I can tell you right now, there's only going to be a... Maybe one or two people that have more experience than me in the competitive aspect and how to make yourself a better player in that standpoint. Uh, Triple has a lot of experience, and outside of that, that's about it. You know, there's there's some people out there that have some really good understanding and, and, and play, but it, it's really secluded in one game. And if you understand other games and understand how those work together, it makes you a better player. You know, you really incorporate other styles, other playing styles into this. So there's a type um, of you know, if there's a topic, there's like, hey, Squid, you know, in these situations, how do you approach that? 
You know, I'll be sure to, I'll, I'll specifically try to get gameplay just for that. Or maybe you can send me your gameplay. Send me your gameplay and I'll check it out. Don't just bombard me like it happened before. I was getting like 15 games a day. It was annoying. Because I was like, I'm not going to be able to check all these. It's, I, there's no way. But uh, now, I mean, it's definitely an opportunity for y'all. Uh, just for stuff that you want to know. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's like, I'm just going to spill all the knowledge I have from the past 15 years of all the games and all the situations. And if it's something in Uncharted I don't fully know, which is highly unlikely, it's one of those things I can ask. I can have other players come on here and talk about it. We can get other players to talk about their spe specifics and how they are what they are and how good, you know, so and so forth. If you're wondering why it's, it's you know, if you're used to old Frag Nation rules, uh, yeah, last season it was 10 captures. I think we're changing it season 4 to 7. So at this time it was still 10 captures. That's why it's 5 to 1 and the game isn't over. But... You know, we'll, just, we'll do what we can. Uh, whatever you guys want to see, sp specific types. I want to do this more because I think it's fun and interesting and, you know, has a more entertaining f vibe to it. So we'll definitely um, we'll definitely do what we can, you know, or at least I'll do what I can. Triple and I might do a couple of these, you know, because Triple has a large amount of experience and, you know, the competitive side of Uncharted. I'll get some other guys on here, maybe like Barry. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, just maybe I can get Vegas. Uh care one of the OMG guys, whoever speaks the best English. Uh, we'll get these guys on here, we'll analyze the gameplay and be like, hey, this is how a competitive player plays. This is their styles and how they do these things. And really break down that information. You know, be be very analytical. Have like an analyst take to why they do what they do, how they play the way they do. And don't ever try to copy somebody else's style. Make it your own style, do your own thing, focus on that kind of stuff, and don't try to change that stuff up. Because you're never gonna be like that player. It's impossible. You know, this whole n nonsense and shenanigans right now where everybody has to do the same crap that they see other people do is, is stupid. Because it never makes you a better player. You just you just all kind of mindlessly mass together like a herd of buffalo. And like, oh, well, this, this is what that guy did, so I'm going to keep throwing that toe. But you just got to focus on those kind of things. And, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can, get some stuff across here. Even if you're not a huge competitive player, but you just want to get better at specific aspects of the game. Just tell me, because I'd rather do the, the core, the, the, the finesse, the, the very in-depth parts of how this game plays. The gameplay side, not the nonsense, not the, you know, the ridiculous, like, little gimmicky crap. I'm talking about, like, proven things that work over long periods of time in every, you know, form or your, whatever game it may be. Because the stuff you're going to learn here, you could pass on to any other game you, you play. As long as you understand that, look, there's three keys to everything. It's understanding what you're supposed to do, your, your objective, your, your, your directive, or whatever is what you're trying to accomplish. As long as you understand that first and foremost, you're fine. Second thing is awareness. You've got to be aware. You've got to be able to control what you're doing. You've got to be, you know, fully, you know, in tune with your gameplay. Know how you play and do not change it. Now, you can slide and, and move according to your teammates, but don't just bounce around all over the place and expect that to help you. And the last thing is, is you got to stay cool, calm, and collect. That's the biggest thing in these situations. Yes, this game is extremely frustrating at times. Well, at, at least 50% of the time, it's frustrating. You know, it's going to make you mad. You're going to make situations like, I don't understand how I didn't do this because of A, B, or C. But you can't let that get to you. You just got, especially in a competitive atmosphere, the minute you start slacking and the minute you start doubting yourself because of this or that or this lag or whatever's going on, is you're going to fail. So if you do well at communicating with your team, you know, like I said earlier, if, if you're not the best player, work on being the communicator. Work on being the leader. Work on being the person that helps the team accomplish a specific goal across, a, you know, a long period. Be that leader. Be that voice. Be the captain. Be the coach. That's all you gotta accomplish. Uh, that was terrible. I, I don't know what, exactly where you guys are at on this, but that that hammer shot was terrible. But uh, you know, you're not always gonna be perfect or spot on either. So don't expect yourself to. Just make it count when you need to, when it matters, when you need it. You know, do you know, be as clutch as possible because that is the most overlying ability in any competitive game. Doesn't matter if you get if you get a rampant or any of that crap, because it's nonsense. But if you can clutch a match because you are, you know, you are cool as ice, and you can handle that situation, that's what makes the difference. So any of those people out there, those clutch players, that's who you need to go after. And I'll tell you one thing that makes you a clutch player, 
And, you know, in these situations, you have the ability. But I'm telling you, if you play elimination and you focus and just play it for yourself, just go in there and focus on kills for once. Go in elimination and be like, okay, my goal right now is to make sure that I can get this stuff done and accomplish awesome. whatever I'm trying to accomplish, A, B, or C. You know, stuff like that. And if you if you focus on you know, clutching out that stuff. Try to be the last person every time. Don't camp, but just, you know, be patient. Be aware of the situation and try to be that last guy and see if you can clutch out those situations. But it's going to give you that ability and that knowledge and that and experience to do it in this kind of setting, especially. Because, you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, look, you're all competitive players. You may not play in a Frag Nation level, but you're playing in a competitive multiplayer. Yes, you have to deal with a lot of nonsense of BS and kickbacks and all that other crap. But at the end of the day, you still have to, uh, you know, accomplish. you got to score the package. So this is uh, just kind of a recursor, refreshed, I don't know. Just kind of jumping back into the coaching series. Let me know what you guys want. I'll do whatever, you know, we'll go any kind of topic, any time. We'll focus on those things, and we'll make it happen. So this is Squid. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.